the invasions toppled the 250-year-old pagan empire, and the Mongol army seized pagan territories in present-day Dihong, Yunnan, and northern Burma to Taga. The invasions ushered in 250 years of political fragmentation in Burma and the rise of Taishan states throughout mainland Southeast Asia. When King Narathi Hapate refused, Emperor Kublai Khan himself sent another mission in 1273, again demanding tribute. In 1275, the emperor ordered the Yunnan government to secure the borderlands in order to block an escape path for the Song, and permitted a limited border war if pagan contested. When the Burmese king again refused, the emperor ordered an invasion of northern Burma. Ceasefire negotiations began in 1285, and ended with Narathi Hapate finally agreeing to submit in June 1286. The Burmese embassy, received by the emperor in Beijing in January 1287, agreed to a treaty that acknowledged the suzerainty of the Yuan dynasty or the Mongol Empire over the Pagan Empire and annual payments in taxes to the Yunnan government in exchange for the evacuation of Mongol troops from northern Burma. But the treaty never really took effect as Narathi Hapate was assassinated in July 1287, and no authority who could honor the treaty emerged. The Mongol command at Yunnan now deemed the imperial order to withdraw void, and ordered an invasion of central Burma. They may not have reached Pagan, and even if they did, after having suffered heavy casualties, they returned to Taga. The Mongols, who probably preferred the situation, did nothing to restore order in the next ten years. In March 1297, they accepted the voluntary submission of King Kaiaswe of Pagan although he controlled little beyond the capital city of Pagan, Bagan. King Narathi Hapate is unkindly remembered in Burmese history as Tarukpai Min, the king who fled from the Taruk. <laughs>